Hello, I'm Congressman Brad Sherman from California's best name city, Sherman Oaks. I'm pleased once again to join with my friends at the Free Iran World Summit as you come together to advocate for a free, democratic, and non-nuclear Iran. I have long been a vocal proponent of these efforts. I'm the chief democratic sponsor of House Resolution 118, which ex expresses the support of the entire American people for the Iranian people's desire for a democratic, secular, and non-nuclear republic of Iran, and condemns violations of human rights and state-sponsored terrorism by the Iranian regime. When my colleague, uh, Congressman Tom McClintock, and I joined in introducing House Resolution 118, it was to highlight the then-recent arrest of Iranian terrorist, calls himself a diplomat, uh, Assadi, uh, in uh, Belgium. Uh, as you know, uh, Assadi conspired to commit murder, commit the murder of thousands of people if they fully achieve their purposes. Uh, as part of a plot to bomb the Free Iran gathering in Paris, which was in 2018. Shockingly, the government of Belgium today is currently considering an outrageous deal that would allow the transfer of this terrorist, uh, who posed as a diplomat, back to the Iranian regime in a quid pro quo in exchange for those that the regime has kidnapped uh, in order to achieve its leverage. The release of Assadi would be an outrage. Uh, should this occur, it would simply encourage the Iranian regime to continue its terrorist behavior and send a message that state sponsors of terror can attempt or commit these acts and be uh, rewarded with prisoner exchanges should, uh, and all they have to do is kidnap some uh, innocent civilians. That's why I wrote a letter to the Belgian Prime Minister urging him to ensure that Assadi serves his full term in Belgium and is not transferred to the very regime which ordered him to commit terrorism. I will continue to stand with you until the Iranian people can fulfill their desire for a uh, free and democratic Iran. Thank you.